Hi, I'm Dave, your Inside Support Specialist at Pysher Lock and Security. Today, I'm going to talk to you about time schedules in Open Options DNA Fusion software. Time schedules are critical in access control as they def define when a cardholder has permission to access a door, when a door has permission to automatically unlock, and then define when it should relock. To get started, let's go up to View. Explorers and time schedules. Now, most sites will have only one set of time schedules. A set is a group of time schedules that is typically used, used when you have more than one geographic location and each needs their own definition of times for access levels or events at their site. Select the set of time schedules that you want to work with, right click and select new time schedule. When it opens, the first option will be number. That's automatically defined by DNA. You don't have to do anything with it. Scan is the default mode and we want to leave that there. You have the option to choose a template. To help you quickly enter a time schedule, just hit the drop down, select the appropriate template, and it'll automatically fill in the days and the times for you. A good practice for creating time schedules is to give it a good definition of its purpose and times that it's working. That way it's easily identifiable when you're reviewing your time schedules at a later date, if you're trying to decide what to apply to a access level or to an auto unlock for a door. Let's go ahead and create one as an example, and we will call this shop hours, Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'll go down to my first row for, and set my begin time, which is 9. And my end time, now DNA uses military time for its hours, so I will have to enter that as 1800. And then, then I select the days of the week that I want this time schedule to be in effect. So I've selected my Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now I just have to select OK. And now when I expand my set for the time schedule that is created, I'll see that I have time set for lap hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I can use that to apply it to an access level. So the card holders that have that time assigned to them can only get through the doors during that win window. Or I can apply it to the door itself for an auto unlock so that it automatically generates uh, unlock to that door and anyone can come through without a credential. Now, sometimes there's a situation where you need multiple um, splits in your time schedule. Let's create a new one. And for example, we'll say this is at a school. We'll call this student drop off, pick up, Monday through Friday, and it's going to go from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., and then again from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So in my first row, I'm going to again start at 6 a.m., and I'm going to end it at 7, and then I'm going to select my days, and then on the second row, I'm going to enter a new beginning time, and the new ending time. And again, select the appropriate days. Now, once I hit OK, that time schedule is created. And whether I assign that to a door or to an access level, level whatever is using this schedule will only work for an hour in the morning and then an hour in the afternoon. Any other time that credential is tried to be used, it will not be allowed. Now, there may be a time when you have an overnight shift, when it has to span midnight. That, that's easy to set up as well. We'll create a new time schedule, and we will call this Midnights, Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 
and I'll enter my beginning time as 10 p.m. and my ending time is 23.59, just before midnight. And I will set that for seven days of the, or five days of the week. And then I'll go to the second line and I'll have that begin at midnight, I'll have that end end at 6 a.m. Now I'm only going to select Tuesday through Saturday because my midnight shift won't be in the facility on Monday from midnight to 6 a.m. They don't start until 10 p.m. on that Monday. And then they'll actually be there leaving Saturday morning at 6 a.m. So it's important that I span my time schedules like that. And then I select OK, and it is done. Now let's do another example. Uh, we'll use the midnight shift again. We'll use, say, this is going to be a contractor that's going to be working at your site. And that they, they, they will need credentials, access level created for them, but they aren't going to need that indefinitely. So I will rename this to Contractors Midnights. And I'm going to use activation and then deactivation. Contractors aren't going to be here for another week. So I will select the date and time of when they're going to start, May 25th. And then I want to kill whatever credentials that I've created automatically so I don't have to worry about collecting them. I'll select the deactivation date. of June 5th and I will leave all the times just where they are and I will select OK. Now if I assign that time schedule to an access to an access level, any card holder in that access level won't, won't be able to use their card even if it's in their hand until May 25th and then after June 5th it will stop working. You may also notice there's holiday types assigned to each access level. We'll talk about that in a later video. That's how you create a time schedule in DNA Fusion. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, please feel free to email me at support at stlsecurity.com. Thanks for watching.